what's up? Quentin Angus here with Elixir Strings, and I was just playing a bunch of different C major voicings using a technique called spread triads, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. So if you want to get away from playing this, this, or this for C major, then this video is for you. I'm going to start by showing the theory of what triads are and what spread triads are, and finish by showing you all of the different spread triads that you can play over your entire fretboard in the key of C major. Let's do the theory first. To understand triads, you have to know a major scale. And because we're in the key of C major, I'm going to do a C major scale. So the notes are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. All you need to do to get a triad from a major scale is take a note, for example C, skip the next note in the scale, in this case D, take the next note, E, skip the next note in the scale, F, and take the next note in the scale, G. When you put them together, so C, E, and G, you get a triad. Now you can do this from any note in the major scale, but we're just going to do it from the first one because we're doing a C major triad. Now to create a spread triad, all you do is take the middle voice, in this case E, and pop it up the octave, and keep the other two notes where they are, and all of a sudden you have a spread triad which has a really open, warm, beautiful sound. What I was playing at the start were a bunch of different inversions. Let's go back to the regular C major triad, and I'll show you what an inversion is with this first. If you just change the order of the notes, so instead of C, E, and G, if we do E, G, and C, we get what's called a first inversion. Or if you do G, C, and E, still the same three notes, but just a different order, you get a second inversion. If we did this again, you would get a root position up the octave. So you have root position, first inversion, and second inversion. With spread triads, they look and sound like this. Root position, first inversion, and second inversion. So I'm going to finish by playing all of the available open triads, spread triads, in the key of C that are available on the guitar. So on the lowest string set, you can do a first inversion, second inversion, root position, first inversion, and reach up for a second inversion. On the middle string set, you can do a root position, first inversion, second inversion, reach up for a root position. And on the highest string set, you can do a first inversion, second inversion, root position, first inversion, and even reach up to another second inversion. The last thing I'm going to play is the chord run that I played at the start, but there will be tabs and sheet music so you can play along. Again, my name is Quentin Angus with Elixir Strings, and I really hope you've enjoyed today's lesson.